Bordas Technologies, Inc. is a Silicon Valley engineering firm that specializes in near-field RF interferometry. Essentially, we're an antenna design firm, and we specialize in antennas that are arrays. All of the new wearable tech, along with any other consumer device, small portable consumer device, that is used on, next to, or around the body, is going to be radiating most of its energy, at least a third to a half and sometimes 68% of it, into the body. So it's going to lose that energy and that's the signal that wants to get out and radiate. So what we've done is we've created a phased array, a micro phased array, where the two elements are operating within their, what we call Fresnel zone, near field. And these two elements are phased so that when you have one wave coming one direction, you have another wave coming another at a low end, you end up nullifying those waves. And so that's the uh, science of interferometry. When I joined the company, uh, uh, we had the antenna design which already worked, but no one understands what's the, how the, uh, exactly the antenna works, how it radiates, what are the parameters that uh, needs to be controlled. If you add some form factors to it, what needs to be changed to get the uh, to meet the specifications of the antenna? So no one knows that. So I recommended to Jim about the use of Hansys. We are currently using the HPC pack, uh, the optimetrics, and the MCAD programs. So the MCAD in a way allows us to uh, import all the mechanical, the plastic objects into HFSS, and then uh, use it with respect to antenna and analyze the problem we have. Uh, the optimetrics allows us to uh, analyze various variables we have on the antenna. It allows us to make a parameterization uh, optimization program to tweak and adjust all the variables in a way. HFSS allowed us to see the actual value and actual flow of energy into the human head. The integration time it takes to take our antenna, put it into their device, run through a four cycle phase that we go through, um, can be done within 53 days in our last test, uh, whereas before it was 90 days to 120 days on a particular project. It's possible that we can get that down to one week or two weeks, depending on the complexity of the project. I see simulation as an, uh, as an extremely important role in what we're doing, and I'll tell you uh, uh, politically one of the main reasons for me as a businessman is that uh, I've been involved very heavily with risk management, reliability, and how these things can reduce the risk of a company and create success because there will be no surprises when we use it and integrate it into our normal product launch uh, sequence.